Hello and welcome to the 4-Minute Morning. And on August the 5th of last year, Bitcoin crossed above $3,000 in at 3252 And this made it the first time that Bitcoin had ever crossed and closed above the $3,000 level. Since that day, 292 of the last 292 days have closed above the $3,000 level. For here is the such the event. It breaks above 3,000 here. Off to the races. You can say the same thing about 5,000, but not for 292 days, at least not as of yet. Once it left 5,000, it has never been below that point ever since. And it could be safe to say the same about any of these previous highs, which would include this one, this one, this one, or even this one as it breaks out. If Bitcoin becomes the next great phenomenon. But it is guaranteed to stay that when it broke this level of resistance above 8,000 or 10,000, it never went below it again. No, it has. And even if the price action breaks the support, comes down to 3,000, there's a good chance it's never going to close below that number. For one thing I'm going to talk about in this video is buying slow versus buying fast, which I think is the example at 6,000 and then 3,000 Bitcoin. And before we start with today's analysis of the current price, when the market was rising through these large gains, one of the things I was stating is the bigger this goes up, the bigger the correction just has to be. As it could have very easily just topped out at like 7,000 and then corrected a bit, and that would have been a good gain in itself. So have you ever heard this saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall? 100% true in these markets, especially with some of the other coins that have way overperformed the Bitcoin movements. Now on to the current analyses. And I think if the price of Bitcoin comes down here, if I was looking to buy, I would want to see the price go to six and wait. Wait a day wait multiple at least around a day two or three this is what i talk about having lots of time to buy at a key area for example there was lots of time to buy in the 2300s as an example but then there are the situations where you don't have much time to buy at all and i think that would be the case if and only if the price comes down to the 3000 area why? Here's why. Going back to last year, September's lows, do you see how this price came down to 3000 You had to be fast to buy here. You had no other choice. Either have the buy order or when you see it there, just buy. Only two ways you could have bought there. The last time buying at 750 or anywhere under 800 you had to be fast in this example. And the last time Bitcoin bottomed, it was... In this situation here, so to get it under 200, even 207, you had to be fast. Either have your buy orders in or when you see the action there, be fast to get your, tra your trades in. And when we look at where we stand today, well, we've been resisting this 18. We've broken this level of support. It has not resisted this level, at least as of yet. This is the second day of pausing or digesting the gains. And if it does make its move lower, then this is most certainly the area I'd be looking for support. And as I've been stating about waiting to buy or being patient and the opposite of such, see in here, if you are patient, then what you are able to do play on the risk reward is that I'm going to wait a bit of time and see uh, when I'd want to buy. Maybe I want to see it show a bullish pattern on a breakout. Maybe I want to see if it's going to go lower because if I wait a couple of days, it might only be in this area for maybe eight or nine hours and then it goes down to 5,000 or whatnot. But there's a decent chance if you're just happy to buy it around 6,400 and you see it one day and it's there three days later, there's a good chance you're going to be able to pick it up is basically what I'm saying. 
because when you're at retest areas, having markets move like this is definitely in place. And when you go to a retest area, it's not a surprise to have a lower high. So can you do it again? Sure, but a lower high, we'd be looking at somewhere lower than, of course, the last one, if it does. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.